Yo, what up? It is the Panda Pandemonium, and we got the rest of the crew. We got Robbie to win, Bo Cap, and Diesel Duran back in the building. Yeah, you know, yeah. What's up? So. What up? <laughs> yeah. He be always he be always in there macking, so you know, gotta look get a man his mac time, but he'll be in a little bit later. <laughs> macking, hang it, macking, hang it. Hey, it it is. there you go. Uh, gentlemen, how's the week been? What's been up? Uh, well, like I was saying, Aquabath, when we were talking what before, up, the bar, like, what, up with me? what up, Jumbo? Appreciate you swinging back in. How's the week going for you as well, bro? You said Octopass, you finishing that up, right, Rob? <laughs> yeah, hopefully next stream, next stream, I might be my, next Friday, might be able to finish it, and then okay, and then hopefully after that, once I come back from New York, I'll I'll have the fun to do Final Fantasy 16, and then I'm gonna announce this here. I posted it on my um, Twitch page, but Wednesday nights for me are gonna start being Sonic Wednesdays. So I'm gonna be playing Ooh. various Sonic games on Wednesdays after I come back from New York. Bet, okay. bet. Yo, I want to. Uh, when we get to the Sonic's part, are you gonna start doing? Or do you think you'll get that that collection? We'll talk about it later. But do yep. you think you might get that? Okay, okay. I'll let you. I'll let you go ahead and bring that in later when we hit that. Then so. Okay. Uh, yo, Jay, what up, bro? How you doing? I'm rolling back. That's all good. <laughs> We said you was out there uh, over there macking, so we, we just figured, you know, you need a good yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of Mac Tom. Yeah, we can hear you. The video's a little yeah, frozen I'm, back and forth, but. Yeah, I'm all, I'm in Pennsylvania right now, about to get into West Virginia. Okay. Oh, you driving, driving. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that money. That nigga working. Damn. Oh, no, I'm not even hey. working, man. I had, it was a family event that happened in uh, Syracuse. Oh, ah, okay. Ooh, everybody doing all right? Yeah, everybody's good, man. I got a chance to spend time with niece and nephew. Awesome. Right, that's that's awesome, stuff. awesome. That's always good. Family time is always key. Make sure you make sure y'all spend time with those that you, family and family don't mean to me, don't always mean to me to eat or blood. You, you know, family is who you, who you choose it to be, but mm -hmm. make sure you spend time with those you care about. That's, that's time is the one thing you do not get back. So right on, right on. Look at that. Man, um, actually, since since we're talking about time, let's let's go ahead and just get the the passings out of the way now. The Reaper wasn't busy this week, so damn it! Oh, I was about to say, damn it, Rod! <laughs> <laughs> I sent him birthday this week. I knew no dust this week. He did. He did. Things I actually okay, I'm him by me this week. Um, so this week for our uh, passing, we have Mister Ian McGinty. He passed on the eighth. Uh, he was the, one of the voices for Zim, uh, Invader Zim. If you know him, mm -hmm. uh, he was one of the for uh, Adventure Time and a few other shows that he wrote and helped. He, he did a lot of art for those shows as well, too. So uh, okay. he, he passed back on the eighth. They don't know an official reason know, as too. to why right now. Um, Hopefully, once however, like everything that I looked into. It seems like he wore he was a really hard worker. Like he loved what he did, you know what I mean? But a lot of it looks like it's pointing to being overworked. If there's any type of medical condition that goes with that, we all know that being overworked will exacerbate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, so um hopefully hopefully his family's doing well with that. And uh, you know, they're in our prayers the best. Hope everything goes the best they can, you know, healing and all that jazz. So but you know, he, he did pass back on the eighth, so we're sorry about that one. Um, as far as that's the only passing we have, luckily, this week. So that is a good thing. That is a good thing. We do have two birthdays though. Uh, we got Miss Yuko Minaguchi. Her birthday was on the 26th. This lady has a heck of a resume, <laughs> if y'all can see. Let me pull it up here. We got Pan from Dragon Ball. 
uh, Holtaru from Sailor Moon. Mother and daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mother and daughter. <laughs> the Dale that and fan. Such a, that's such a Dragon Ball thing. That's... Right? Uh, Clan Ad, Rouge from One Piece. Uh, wow. Yeah. She she's she's got a couple good pieces in your uh Yawari Yo uh Yawara uh um, that's an old school yeah that's an old school anime so yeah. definitely tell you she's a woman of a certain age tell you that much <laughs> uh, yeah. she, got, she got her experience in there so shout out to her happy birthday happy belated at this point actually no it's yeah. tomorrow so it's happy tomorrow. birthday yeah. early birthday. tomorrow yeah okay. Uh, I thought today was the twenty sixth. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Month been flying. It has, man. It has. Um, man, it's so much going on so soon. Yeah. Uh, other than that, we have Natsuki Hane. Uh, also another relative. Yeah, Ken from Tokyo Ghoul. Vanitas. I mean, Lavi, he, like, dude, yeah, dude is beam off a of chainsaw, man. Here, let me make this bigger so y'all can yeah. really see this dude's list. Re Zero, Masamune Kun, oh, uh, oh boy from High Q, Kyori, Twin oh. Star Exorcist. Most of these are main characters oh, that he has. Sukumichi, he was Mikado. Like, I love Sukumichi. If y'all have not seen that show. You got to watch it. It is well, hilarious. Is my shit. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to yeah. say this, though, about this trip. So, uh, as y'all know, when I work to keep myself awake, I watch anime. I've knocked out three one-season anime on this trip. Mm. Okay. Okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you end up watching? And I did, right before I joined, I watched the Black Clover movie. Ah. Mm. We'll talk about that a little bit later then. Cool. I can hold so it. I, like, I hadn't got around to seeing it yet. It's, 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 good. It's, it's worth the watch. It's worth the watch. I'll say that much. Oh, I believe it. From from the stats that I pulled on it, I believe it. Shoot. Hey, they they really did a, a, a My Hero thing when they let everybody get their shine on, on this movie. Okay. Oh, that's okay. What's up. That's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Wait, did I send that news? It, it might change our women of anime on, on hierarchy, though. <laughs> yeah, I will say that right now. Oh Ooh. wow! Okay, it's a pretty okay. bold statement, right? <laughs> Man, listen, that—that's probably out of all, all the fight scenes, hers was the best. Okay, okay. that's what's up. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, a real quick random one. So you all know Shang Chi, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, we we all know. So you you guys have seen Simu Lu, which is the main actor for Chang, Shang Chi. Yeah. Most people know him from here. Right from Shang Chi, mm-hmm. or they might know him from Kim's Convenience Store because he right. was in there. He was the older brother in Kim's oh. Convenience Store. Also, oh, I didn't know a that. Good K drama. If you haven't, if you haven't watched it, it's a hilarious show. Um, however, you know, this man right here, I'm gonna oh, age myself. Right, they, y'all. Him. A lot of people met him like this. Uh huh. Hmm. I met this man like this. You got to zoom it up for me. Where? I don't know what show that's from. I, Kung Fu Hustle. That's the same person? Yes. Wait, You're what? lying. Wow. Hold on, what's that? Yeah, I don't know. I met him like that sure? too. I didn't know that was him. Yo, the Hold on, what's that from? Crazy. Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, that was him? <laughs> Bro, the glow up is insane. <laughs> game recognized game, that's for Hell sure. Hell yeah. Because I remember hey, that. He, hey, he got he got some black in his family. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, you know, they say black don't crack. He got, he got some black somewhere in there. You, you know how they do that 23 and me and be like 2%. He got to get 15%. <laughs> Uh, but I thought that was funny when I saw that, so I had to throw that out there for everybody real quick. <laughs> um, also, one or two, while we're talking about Marvel, just a quick aside. I think Rod got me this. Uh, yeah, we're I saw about that the, somewhere. Yeah, the box office weekends between the two the two organizations. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it's it was this bad. A question. This is oh, not even a yeah. question, yo. No, not at all. No, listen. 
The fact that our our bottom is more than their top is crazy. Our bottom right is m- way more. Like <laughs> it's like ten million dollars more. Like I knew the Marvel and DC had the a gap yeah. with opening weekends, but I didn't. And can I say this? Bad. This, this movie are not yeah. are so underrated with Black Adam and Shazam being their better movies. Right. Mm-hmm. Out of the whole list, I rather I will watch Black Adam and Shazam over and over again. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel yeah. that. Yeah, Black I Adam. Watch, I'll add Aquaman. I will add Aquaman. And Suicide Squad. Yeah. I watched Suicide Squad again. That was actually really good. They did yeah. that. That was probably the best, like story wise. Suicide Squad was better. Into the stories. Yeah. Oh, repeat what you said. You kind of it kind of bugged out. The only thing we didn't like about Suicide Squad. Yeah. 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 I'll give you that. Like it, it's amazing. Like I saw that in one of my Facebook groups. I was like, "That can't be real." I just I just saved that. I was like, no, this can't be real. You know, I looked into some of them, and they, yeah, opening weekends were horrendous for a lot. But DCU has it. They're known for it. Yeah, they're known oh, for it. So no one's gonna go if you if you're expecting a bad movie. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for it to stream. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, yeah, like I said last week, Flash wasn't that bad, but honestly, I wish it was another actor other than Ezra. I really do. I, mm-hmm. I honestly, like we talked about last week, I think Ezra, the reason it being Ezra brought it down, you know, just with the with everything that was going on with him during the production. I think that's what brought some of that down. So, for sure, yeah, that's it. I mean, I was looking at the movie. I think they were showing the movie totals for this week's Spider Verse ended up being number one. Flash fell all the way to number three. Mm-hmm. Was it? Damn, all the way to number. That's bad. Yeah. Oh, you broke up. I'm going through the miles, man. I might drop out and come back in. Okay. Okay. No worries. No worries. Mm-hmm. Now, if we're talking about budget, I do want to go ahead and throw this out there because I saw this and they were talking about how the budget for Game of Thrones versus the new One Piece series is three million more per episode per episode for the One Piece live action than Game of Thrones. That explains those price increases. So in eight episodes, you're looking at what? Twenty four million dollars more overall. Not no no no, for the first eight episodes at least, because Game of Thrones is extra freaking long. So there's that, you know what I mean. So I don't think the budget overall is not more, but per episode the budget is more. That's crazy. you got to look into that as well. Um. Oda was, if you, as most people know, if you if you follow One Piece at all, Oda is recovering um, well from what I've seen in a couple different places. So that's always good. Um, and then our conversation, I want to kind of follow up from our conversation last week. We had about Nami. Okay. So this is who we have as of right now. And I'm, I'm a big screener real quick for our characters, right? For our main crew. Of Luffy squad. I understand the Nami worry <laughs> vocab. <laughs> what is that Nami, bro? Hear me out though. Hear me out though. So I, I, I was looking for this. I put it in a group before, but this is the actual list from Oda Fire list. of what they're supposed to be by race, right? Fire. Luffy is Brazilian, Usopp is African, Robin is Russian. Frankie's American, Sanji is French, Zoro's Japanese, Nami is Swedish, Chopper is Canadian, and Brooke is Austrian. So if you look at the who they have, it fits perfectly. I really can't argue it. I can argue it. Yeah. 
argue. <laughs> I can't. Like you, you, you got to go off of the where they're from, and geographically, she is a beautiful Swedish woman. Is she though? Have you have you looked at have you seen the facial features of Swedish people? I had. Do you know that Sweden accounts for like thirty percent of supermodels? One of them. Yes. Okay. Yes. So they, but they're not. You don't need a supermodel for Nami. I'm just saying though. Nami's not supermodel esque. Like her character does not what you want. Nah, but I'm just saying though. I'm sure they could have found something better. Nah. <laughs> That and then I have to say this right here. Hold on, not that one. Where are we at? Yo, I hear you. Can you hear us? Ouch, ouch. Yo, the picture. Oda gave the okay on her Nami. So I gotta trust him. I mean, I can't argue now. That's what you should have led with. I can't argue that. You can't argue that point either. I'm but saying, I'm just saying like, based on nationality, that. they look like their nationalities. No, nah, yeah, for sure. I'm yeah, no lie, no lie there. there. You like, you better find something. No. She uh, do look sweet. The fact that he said her help me scene is a one because we remember we're talking about key nah, points. Sex, 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 sex. You know that that was one of the key points you brought up. That it is and so, so that is if sex. he said that help me scene is a one, I'm a I'm a let it ride. And I'm gonna just let you say if he said (laughs) that, I can't argue with him. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, true. We weren't at the audition. If she nailed it, if she nailed the key scene, and I won't be surprised. Older, older seems like the type of person. And like, if if he's doing live action, he's making sure they hit the scenes correctly. That's why I think we saw in the trailer. I had mentioned it, the barrel. I think that's yeah. why I think we saw the barrel because that's from what you guys told me. That's a that's a critical scene. That's something they do. Yeah. That is a time. super critical. That help me scene is ridiculously. Critical. Oh, the help me scene is what makes it like that oh, makes that our long arc. Okay. So honestly, if Otis says her help me scene is a one, then I I'll withdraw all my what is that Nami because that's what's the most important is. Yeah, the acting, and if you represent the character properly, and knowing what that scene means to the whole series, the whole like series, the series yeah. as a whole, not just all on, but this is a whole because that's really where Nami cements herself as a yeah. straw hat, not just somebody that we fuck with, but like she that's when she becomes that's when she became a straw, straw hat. hat, yeah, so, yeah, all right, definitely, all right, definitely, all definitely. Right. definitely. This supposedly this is supposed to be the title um of each episode. I, I so it looks like what Rod was saying was it Rod that said uh you wanted to see it in going over the red line? That was me. That was you, Jay. So it looks like you might yeah. get that. Because if the girl with the saw two sawfish tattoo is number seven, worse than the east would end is gonna end with Arlong, basically. Or probably start the first half with Arlong, him finishing that off, and then right. them heading out of the East Blue. At least that's what I would expect. Right. Right. I know. I. I. I, did, I think I was the one that said they should do the flashbacks, go back and forth with the barrel, and maybe like kind of like a campfire style. Like maybe Luffy does one episode, but like I said, you guys know the early one piece a little bit better than I do. But yeah, it looks like it's two episodes per person. That sound about right too. So tell no tales and pirates are coming. Those are both Usopp's arcs. Right. Eating the Barati and the Chef and Chore Boy is Sanji. Romance Dawn, Sanji, the man yeah. in the straw hat, that's Zoro. Yeah. And then the last two are definitely Nami. So it looks like they're gonna do two episodes apiece. I'm I'm still leery. If Oda says it's okay, I trust Oda. Right. <laughs> in Oda we trust. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait. I still don't trust because if whatever happens that I think is gonna happen, uh, me and Oda gonna be done. <laughs> I mean, if he gives me a reason to not trust him at that point, I'm gonna roll with it. But until then, we'll see. he ain't gave me one yet. That's no, that makes sense. If they, if he might have gave me one. That's the problem. You're talking about <laughs> old boy dying. Yes. We know what you you saying. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if they nailed this, then. 
CP9, that's going to be the actress who plays Robin. The actress who they get from Robin is crucially important. Oh, yeah. It's going to be all right, Jay. Hey, we got it, Jay. It's okay. CP9 is going to be critical for the live actor. They get through the first season with no issue. CP9 is what well, makes it break a lot of Well, it won't be Robin people. yet because you got to remember, they got to do Chopper first. Right, 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 right. They got to go through Chopper and Drum Drum Chop, Island. They, oh, they got to – hey, if we go through that, that means they got to do Crocodile perfect, bro. Right, that's Alabasta. Like, you got to hit Alabasta. Oh, right, 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 right. It's, it's Chopper, lot, then Alabasta. Is not, am I right? Huh? Yeah, Chopper made it Alabaster. Yeah, yeah. So it's Chopper, then Alabaster, then it's yo the so number. Rob, so, so Robin's just like between season those three. Two. Yeah, Robin's like after that because well, it's Frankie <laughs> then Rob. Well, Robin is it Robin then Frankie? Technically, it's Robin then Frankie. Technically, Frankie. Yeah, Robin, Robin then because... Frankie, but Frankie becomes a straw hat before Robin. That's true. yeah, that's true. Well, no, Frankie, Frankie became a star head because of Rob. Remember, remember the grab? Yeah, but Robin, you know what scene I'm talking about. Robin doesn't officially be like, I want to be a straw hat until CP9 the end. And at that point, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie technically, Frankie wasn't, wasn't a part of it. He was just helping out. He was just, no, he was just helping out. No, he, he didn't yeah, become he one to after any right. lobby. You're right, you're right. Cause that's when that's when he stole his uh he stole his underwear at the end and was like yo you rolling or not yeah you right yo that was foul how you gonna steal a man yeah, yeah, was foul. look that he, was foul. we all know he like he like being looked at he's a voyeur it is what it is <laughs> oh my god hey I bet he what I bet he had on pants after Robin got a hold of him oh, you know that oh my god I just had a random thought yeah you know would be if this is like maybe 20 30 years ago you know who could have probably been Frankie and don't judge me, Val Venus. <laughs> Hello, lady. Uh, I, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I can see it. I, I would have. You know what? Think be the first Frankie. Frankie. Here, this is this is gonna be bad. Don't judge me, Macho Man, as Frankie. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, Macho Man up, Randy Jimmy. Savage as Frankie. Damn. Are we talking about the same Macho Man that was in uh, Spider Man? Yeah. 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 Same yeah. one. Same one. Yeah. Yeah. We. I can see that. I yeah. can see that. Most definitely. <laughs> this opportunity. I'm laughing the whole time. Oh yeah. It would come on. That would be hilarious. Oh, it right. just fits super. Like. Yeah. <laughs> they might get a rustle of a. Super. They might get a rustle of a Frankie. That that don't make so much too much sense. I mean, he's American. It. it, it, it yeah, he's man. It has to be somebody very charismatic, yeah. though. Oh yeah, you can't just throw something John Cena in as Frankie. It won't. It won't work. Even though he is charismatic, he's not Frankie uh, charismatic. I mean, we see him as peacemaker. I, I don't know. He, just, he ain't really do this. No, he's not. No, it's not going. That's not going to rock. Because eventually, he's going to end up being CG anyway. That's the thing. True. Frankie's going to end up being mostly CG anyway. Yeah, because he's a cyborg. Right. So. Oh, I hope they don't mess up the CG for uh, Chomper, That's what's though. going I mean, if we the same people who did Sonic can do Chomper, bro. Pokemon, or Pokemon. No, Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, Detective Pikachu. But like I I we do it and we get we get we get monster point chomper. Oh my god, they do it perfect, bro. I mean, I saw how they yeah. did the um seeking. I feel like they could do monster point chomper so perfect. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I think that's definitely because, like, if you think about it, the after you leave East Blue, that's when all the that's when all the Devil Fruits pop up. Yep. So that's where this is. This is where the fun, like, after this, if they do this season right, that's when the budget's gonna explode. Yeah. Because you got to put Ace in there. You got to put everybody. Every. Yeah. Every devil fruit and smile fruit user in Alabasta, which was you know what I mean. Well, we didn't get smiles got away, like... yeah, but they were using them already. Yeah, so so you know what I mean. We much... just didn't know they were smiles, right? So you're saying Netflix is probably gonna be up to twenty dollars, and we're gonna know why because it's one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. 
You know um, what's going to happen. Oh, of course. Of course. Uh, I do want to let you all know uh, this is a Rod thing here. I hope you, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but MHA is bringing back a new series to anime. You ready? Mm-hmm. Vigilantes. Why are we getting an anime? I knew that was happening. I already knew that was gonna happen. We're getting the anime. I've been waiting yep. for this. I've been waiting for this. You Wait. mentioned it before. That's why. I, that's why I was like, I know you probably already know about it, but yeah. Yeah. I, I hope they people. finish my hero before they bring out Vigilantes. Though. Honestly, no. I think backstory wise, we need Vigilantes before season seven. We should have got it before season six, low key. But I'll let it slide. Because you get a yeah. lot of you get a lot of backstory with Stain, Aizawa. There's a lot of backstory with yeah. some characters. Yeah. Like if you read the story, if you read the story, it'll make the way a certain character, the way a certain character is gonna die, the way a certain character dies in a in a manga, you kind of get an idea of how it's gonna happen in this series. But I'll leave it at that. If you've read both, you kind of can figure out who who I'm hey. talking about. Just cross the state line to West Virginia. Uh, That's what's up. Yeah, but hopefully they do this next year instead of season seven to give season seven some breathing room. That way, horror that'd be nice. That way, horror course can finish the manga. We could wrap up season seven, and then my year was just seven seasons. Ended at that. And I will say this though, like he's got the ability, like to turn this into an MCU. (laughs) That's what everybody keeps saying too. Like I was reading on Twitter, someone saying, "My hero." I don't like a lot of the newer manga. Uh-huh. You can make this into a, a, its own franchise if you. Oh yeah, to go easily, there. easily. Um, kind of like uh, scientific railgun, accelerate, and all that. Right. Yep. yep, that was actually a good series, though. Oh yeah, definitely. It was. Yeah, yeah, uh, there's definitely franchise potential with my hero. It just depends on how the manga ends, honestly. Right. Right. Um, hey. Jay. I'm finna head, I finna head to the mountains real quick. I just sent something to the group chat. Can you put it up real quick? Alright. Give me a second here. I see food? food? I see food. Yes. Yes. Hello. I just gotta show this out. I'm gonna tell right, y'all exactly what it is once you put it on screen. Do 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 do. Corn beef hash and a sandwich. Damn, knocked out the rest of the day. Something like that. Okay. So that so you're is trying called, to make people mad. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm telling y'all, if y'all ever go to Syracuse, go to Rise and Shine. Oh my God, that right there was fifteen dollars. It is called the Big Daddy Wrap. Huh. If y'all can see the plate behind it, is my brother's plate. Pretty much everything is on his plate. It's on my plate wrapped up in a pancake. Bacon, eggs. I didn't eat the whole thing. The other half is behind me right now, bro. I didn't eat the whole thing. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, because I don't have to drive. (laughs) But, bro, bacon, egg, house fries, um, bacon, egg, house fries, sausage. Like, you can pick whatever you want to put in there. I just got it, like, just baseline with it, what it had. It was something else in there. And cheese, cheddar. I got cheddar cheese, bro. That thing was so good. Oh my god! Wow. I'm like, I'm literally debating on stopping in a few minutes since I'm in West Virginia to eat the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, that looked good though. That does look good. I'm not gonna front. I I destroy, I would destroy something like that easily. <laughs> easily, bro. And yeah. then sit there. <laughs> Take a nice nap, wake up, and yep. be ready to go. I, I told my brother, uh, it hit why you didn't tell me about this when I first got here? See. See, be your own. You mentioned what's up? you saw the uh, sword. Was that the movie? You yes. You saw Sword of the Wizard King? Okay. Yes. How was it? Oh, man. Um, action, 10 out of 10. Story, uh, I don't. They made it canon, but you just don't know where to put it at. I'm, I'm guessing it's before the Spade Kingdom, while Asta was training. Okay. 
in the art kingdom. That that's just my step. I gotta watch it again and see if I can put a time step on it. Um, bro, like the story was was good. Even if you read the manga and you watch this movie, it's still good because you know in the manga they kind of far. But bro, um, I want to say I like how they took the captains out of the um. Uh, out of the fight per se, so everybody else can get their shine on. Um, we got introduced to some uh, older Wizard Kings. They had like an Avatar moment, bro. Okay. <laughs> they had an Avatar moment with the Wizard Kings. Uh, let's see, it's on Netflix, so yeah, like y'all like and it's YouTube. the it, it, you can watch it in any in, in, in any language. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, for this past week, so I thought, they said it was number two out of their top ten list. It it fell in number yep. two. Six point okay. four million views, twelve million hours watched worldwide, oh. and that was over a two day period. And I just watched it like right before I came on. I was watching. Oh, look at the time! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it clearly did its thing. It did its job. Good, good for the, good for that fans. What's, what's the, what's the sister name? Oh, uh, Flagonian sister. Oh, Marilona Mar- or something like that. Yeah. Listen. Her fight scene. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm gonna give I'm I'm not telling you the fight scene. Her fight scene rivals Kenpachi fight scene in Blood on uh, a thousand year blood oh, war. Wow. Okay. Oh, I believe that. When you said it's her, that's the only fight scene in Bleach. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, you said it's her, I believe you. 100%. I, I, yo, oh my god. The fact that she get like <sighs> You know how in a lot of anime they they gotta split the bad guys so that they can't beat by themselves. Mm-hmm. So the villains are past wizard kings that got corrupt Ooh. with their past. Okay. Only one of them was living, the other one was bought back. Okay. One of the ones that was bought back was a female and dubbed like she's basically the Kyoshi of Wizard King. Like she's known as the mm-hmm. badass Wizard King. Got you. When it comes to throwing hands. Okay. Mir- Mirion was like, you know what? Everybody go fight the other Wizard King. You send her to a place. I want her 1v1. Dang. <laughs> she said, no, nah, so, I've been waiting for this. This Wizard King, this Wizard King, her power is basically she can summon her own soldiers. They kind of look like chest pawns, okay. but they're strong. Like You're just not, you're just not for the one hit them. Right. So at the, the very first beginning of the fight, she said, you got to prove to me that you can fight me 1v1. Like She don't <laughs> care about her name or nothing. Yeah. So she summoned a thousand soldiers, and Mariona just melted all of them and said, "Did I prove enough?" And they started throwing hands. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like her. <laughs> like I didn't tell you the rest of the fight. The rest of the fight is just so perfect. I hate that they kept cutting the other fights, mm-hmm. but I understood. I, I just want this fight scene right now. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Finish this. Just finish this, and then you can go to talk to them." I don't care. Just watch. I want to see this. But the the villain, when I say I, this is one reason why I like um Black Clover, the way that the the creator came up with these powers, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I like how it, you have three people with the same type of magic that use their power. Like uh uh Fenrir and his brother, right. both of them are spatial magicians, right? But they use it completely different. Fenrir is more. You know, tra- teleportation, yeah. where his brother is, he can he can turn it from teleportation to attack. Yeah, and Fred was just not getting there. Yeah, yeah. And the bo- the 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 main bad guy power is keys, and the way he uses keys, this man can steal magic from anybody. Ooh. Oh wow. And keep it for himself. Basically, he's all for one. Ooh, Ooh interesting. So he just locks, like, unlocks, and unlocks the power from the person. No, he once he okay. So he took the only we only see him take one person's magic, but he's taking other people's magic throughout the movie. But we only see him take one, and that was on Noel when he Ooh. takes it. Her book turns to stone, oh, and cool. she cannot use. Her grimoire. She still oh. has magic powers and ability, but she cannot use her grimoire. She can't use her spells. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. And he ends up using her spells. Like once he hears it, once he knows, like basically, he basically read it, grimoire, take it. the magic. 
Yeah. Oh wow. He pulled, and he, I thought that was so cool because uh, Kuroko's basketball, perfect copy. Oh uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Except he's not. It's not a copy. He took the magic. Right. But we only see him take two people. But we saw the whole like the whole thing transpire between him and Noel. Wow. But the movie was good, man. Like I, I really say it's it's it's, it's an instant like classic. Okay. I'm gonna watch it. Well, it's good to know. Good to know. You you know got his slight one v one. Uh, the Black Bulls had their own um, team v one. <laughs> right, right. Because you know they got to jump somebody. Thanks. Bro, hey, I just I just got to recognize it. It was very small because we ain't seen the move for real. Ghost is OP, bro. Oh, Ghost? Ghost, Ghost is OP. Is a, he's a monster. Yo. That demon eye he got? Listen. Like. Yo. Yeah. Out of all the Black Bulls, the fact that Ghost is who he is is like, bro, you are easily captain status, bro. Easily. Easily. easily captain status and i think because his magic is so rare and they they actually got like a um a thing where they talk about who all have rare magic you all know the um one of the captains who does the paint uh-huh his is rare right on uh, the sleep captain hers is rare mm-hmm. then you got people like yami who has very common magic but he just used it in a different way yeah. right yeah no him and him, um, Gosh and Fenril together are that that combination is nasty. Because you don't know where they're coming from at that point. Man, listen. Like, you already normally don't know where his beams are coming from. But, like, once you add Fenrir into the mix, mm-hmm. it's over. That's all. That over. is fact. Is it not fact? It is. Oh. Um, uh. But I I will say this last thing. Yeah. So with the time the time span that the 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 movie is supposed to be set, I don't know if it's before or after Asta made peace with his demon oh. or his devil. My bad, his devil. Yeah. Okay, we see the devil. We actually see his face, but you know we didn't see his face till oh, after man. you know him and Asta met. Right. And it's like kind of, but it, it's just very weird to kind of place this movie. Because we actually see the guy who taught him how to uh, meet his devil, but I don't. We don't know if he know Asta yet. Right. Gotcha. Hey, Monty, how like, he was going? just like a little champion. Like, Interesting. But most definitely a watch, especially if you're a Black Clover fan. It is definitely a watch. Even if you're not, you just watch it for the first time. It's gonna make you want to watch the whole series. I can see if you watch any fight in Black Clover, it's gonna make you want to go back and watch the series. Like any any fight, I don't care which one it is. <laughs> I think uh, one of my favorite fights to watch is the despair when they fought the dude, the despair dude. He kept hollering despair. Oh yeah, my favorite. Fight, I thought that was a great fight. My favorite fight is when they fought uh, Fenrir's brother. That is a good fight. When they when when Fenrir's brother was fighting Man, them. Listen. Yeah, no, that's a good ass fight. Oh, the magical games, yes. yeah, yes. And everybody dropped in on dude like, say something else. Say another mother. <laughs> hey, one of my favorite running jokes is like everybody be talking to a friend like he ain't nobody. He like I'm your superior officer. <laughs> like, bro, show some respect. <laughs> Shut up, friend. <Fenner. laughs> it's like they not gonna they not gonna tell him they respect him, but ain't nobody else gonna disrespect him. <laughs> like, <Right>. facts. <laughs> Facts. That's what you found out right then. If you if you ever thought that Fenro was like, oh, they really just don't like him, they just using him, you clearly in that moment realized how much he meant. <laughs> because ev- when when luck snapped, luck don't snap. Luck just want to fight everybody. No, that man mm. snapped. <laughs> they had to man, drag this- him off. Him and Magna, they had to almost drag them off, old boy. Like the Black Bulls have so many people that just OP for no reason. Oh, yeah. You got Ghost and you got Charmy. Like, bro, oh, Charmy is oh, Charmy stupid. Char- oh my God. And we make it so bad. Nobody knows how OP she is except for probably Yami. Yeah. 
Like nobody else has seen her fight for real. Every time she fought, it was just her. Right, she's always she got to stay by herself. Hold her. This this image right here, when we finally saw her spaz out. Mm -hmm. Let me pull. Let me big, make it big. Ah, it's not gonna let me. Oh my god! Out. When she went when she went skinny, she pulled a fat gum. Basically, mm -hmm. if y'all know My Hero Academia, she pulled a fat gum. Oh, she's no. all this little chubby chick eating everything. And, and she really, bruh. So that's her part of her power. They uh, try to explain yeah. like yeah. the yeah. fact that ninety eight percent of the time she look like a chubby in the whole show. Yep. That's part of her power. To when she gets serious, she's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, she's like Chosie with the butterfly move, pretty much. There you go. That's what she looks <laughs> like. <laughs> she she's like shows you with the butterfly yeah, times like a thousand. Times a thousand. My guy. No, no, no. You gotta find a chubby version. That that's what she eats. And her power, she has two or three different powers. One of her powers, you know, she can um summon sheep that can cook. And if anybody eats her cooking, they we um get their magic on their mana back. Oh, that's useful. so she makes so she makes um what's the dude name that stays in the castle that can't leave? Oh, yeah, I forget his name, but yeah, yeah, she makes him his power. He uh he one he controls the Black Bull's headquarters, absorbs yeah. magic. So anybody coming near him with mana, he's absorbing it unwillingly. He can't control yeah. it. Yeah. So what they that makes him stronger. So what they would do is bring people to him to make him stronger to move the hideout and yep. while he's absorbing power she's feeding them giving them more mama yep very useful and this that's is just the one difference of between her this is the difference she's a wolf in sheep's clothing these are her two types those are her two fighting styles bottom line <laughs> and those creatures do come out to play they do Man. Yeah, I I feel like when it come down to it, she's gonna have a backstory out of this world, bro. Oh, oh you know. probably has to. I feel, like, I just want to know who came up with that that power. I need to talk to the I don't know who came up with it and what was going through their head. Because <laughs> that's some Stephen King type ish, bro. Like, you got sheep running around all day cooking for you. You know what I mean? Making meals. Hold up here. Let me pull pillows. Me and pillows and me everything. And pillows, right? Everybody here. This one right here. These are the chefs in the house in the hideout. They just sheep running around feeding yeah. everybody. Yeah. Everybody. But at the end of the day, when they get, when she gets mad, you see either exhibit A or exhibit B. Yeah. Like. Who came up with that? Are there small wolves that are going to come out later and start attacking people? Like so, as of right now, as of right now, is it's the big sheep that can only turn into the wolf. Right. As of they now, don't, uh, yeah, they just what he with. So they did an interview with the guy, and basically what he said is her story is going to uh, intertwine with uh, you know story because she has no uh, background, okay. just like you know. So she might be from the Spade Kingdom as well. Okay. I can see it. Yeah, like, this is some craziness. You watch a movie yet? Nah, I ain't okay. watching it. Yeah, yeah. I think Jay's the only one who's watched this so far. But yeah, so her, she... But I'm, I'm ready for the next thing. season. That's a whole, a whole problem. Could she be... Bro. That's kind of busted if you think about it. That is busted. Oh, completely. Absolutely. Ooh. Although the thing is, she barely made it out of the fight that she was in. So yeah. it really, like, as busted as she was, she was fighting somebody more busted. <laughs> mm. That puts things in perspective. Right. But like like you said, I do like the fact that they, they brought a whole new twist to the use of magic with a lot of these powers. Um, oh that you we don't see often. Like, bro, I, I'm ready to see some out of gravity magic and see how they use it. Oh yeah, now that would be nice. 
that would be nice. Have uh, now, have y'all seen Mashal? Has anybody watched Mashal yet? I've watched like the yes, first seven I've been episodes. The, last, the episode that just dropped. Okay, I haven't seen the newest one. I don't think, but that's yeah. another one where I feel they use magic in a lot of new creative ways. Yeah. Is that the one with the guy who don't have magic yep. powers? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he so, just does. So you talking about the Rockley? Yep, the, the Rockley of Magic. Yeah, because that's what he is. Yeah, that's what yeah. he is. Yeah. I have not watched it. I actually just uh, cued it. You will so. enjoy the it's heck hilarious. out of it. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. It's so great, bro. I love it. <laughs> is he flying? Why is he kicking his feet so hard? Yeah, he be punching the shit out of people too. <laughs> like he's in the Magic School for a reason. He definitely rock. Uh, bro, bro. When I say this. The, the way this man does their magic powers, like, it's he'd hilarious. be sitting there. All right. This is not really a big spoiler because he does far worse later down the line, right? Thanks. But dude shoots a magic ball at him. He plays soccer with it like it's hacky sack. Yeah. Like, oh, they, they have their own it's a, version of Quidditch. Right. <laughs> and he can't. Oh, yeah. like, so what is he going to do? Win. And he wins. We're just going to put it that way. Win. <laughs> like, the man cannot fly. He can't do... Bruh. Why are you kicking his feet like that? He had to think of something. I would have thought of that, but he thought of something. Man. Do you know what kind of muscles this thing got to have? Bruh. Oh, you broke up, bro. I must hit a dead spot. He probably hit a dead spot. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go to the next one in. Uh, Demon Slayer has finally hit that level that everybody swore up and down it would never hit. All those dragon Demon Slayer haters who swore up and down, oh, it's never going to crash the internet. Well, it happened. Deal with it. <laughs> Demon Slayer finally crashed the internet um, with that last... That last um, Season, uh, season finale that came out. So, Vocab was mad the other day because he was trying to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and that happened. Sad. The sad thing, I wasn't even trying to watch Demon Slayer when it happened. Right. <laughs> so, shout out to Demon Slayer for that. They finally have hit that echelon. Uh, I think Attack on Titan and Super are the last two shows that yeah. had, had that happen. So, yep. yeah, I don't think Attack, so shout on out Titan, to them. Attack on Titan might do it on this final episode. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know if it's gonna do it again because, like, a lot of people are like, Look, I'm over it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. can we just end it already? That's how I am. So, like, I'm almost something to read the manga just to get it over with, right? Right. Um, and now that now Whew. that back, I had I had to bring this back. I was trying, I had to wait on him. Oh hell, King Boji! Yeah. <laughs> you know I had to wait on him for that for that just for that right there. Hell, him. Um, hell there is him. a new there's there are works for a new movie, new content. Not a it's not a spinoff or anything. It's not a you know a recast of anything. It's supposed to be brand new content for Ranking of Kings storyline. Um. No details yet. They just that it's been confirmed that they are working on something moving forward. So keep an eye out for that. Um, also, I found out. I don't know if you all know. Like, remember we were talking about uh, Treasure Chest of Courage, the second season that they did, yeah. Yeah, and how yeah. it was back stuff. Um, it actually is nothing to do with anything that was previously written. Oh. Like they just went back and rewrote filler episodes, basically. For the show, so it wasn't anything that was actually canon to the original writing, per se. Uh, so yeah, in case anybody else didn't know, now you know. Um, now we made a comment about a fight, and if you see certain fights, you're gonna know what it's about, like, you're gonna want to go watch it, right? Do y'all remember the um, the Dragon Ball Z thing that came out with the Sun Wukong, like he looked yeah. like Sun yeah. Wukong. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. 
Mm -hmm. I found them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there is a show called Fall Kill of the Five Elements. It looks like it's a dong a dongwa, uh, so Chinese anime and uh, manga. I'm just gonna play this in the background here. It's them though. This is season two. Ooh. Wow. This is the tr the trailer for season two is coming out in July. I'm I'm ready for it. I will be looking for this to oh, watch yeah. season one. Okay. Hands down. When you find it. Oh, I can definitely be letting you all know. No, watch um, it. Let's, let's put it as a watch party in the uh, Discord. Oh, yeah, in the Discord. chat, definitely. I'm with it. We'll do that in the Discord. Right. And actually, here you go. I found the full trailer really, really? because, you know, I couldn't do y'all wrong. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> I remember seeing the thing where it was like a phoenix, blue phoenix bird fighting somebody with fire ability. And I think this is it. Shang Gong Gong, the man who brought this <laughs> trouble. Shang Shou, I take it. I'm liking it. 5 looks elements. amazing. It looks amazing. Um, I will be looking it up, and if I find it, I will let y'all know. But yeah, everybody keep an eye out on that. Like I said, this is season two. I don't know how long season one is and or was, but you know, something. Slide like update. More. We're in Virginia. <laughs> Bet. Always two more here. to go. Almost there. Um, while we're looking at clips of things to come, Spy Family has a new movie coming out called Code White. It's supposed to be uh -oh. dropping in December in Japan. Why I gotta be white? Uh, you know, <laughs> is what it is. I mean, they are white, though. Yeah, true. Probably because it's a Christmas thing. Makes sense. December and the I'm just looking at it. You know what I mean? The winner. Cold white. Cold white. All right. I want Anya. I want Anya and Boji in the same movie. Spike. Yeah, that works. Probably feel like Oh, hey, with that, we'll be able to hear Boji's true voice. There you go, exactly. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, other than that, oh, Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. They we all know it's on Crunchyroll, right? However, I want to show y'all this. They have updated 
they're listening. And when I say updated, they listen. They went back, way back. George Slug, Tree of Power. I mean, Tree of Might. You see these? Dead Zone, World Strongest, Tree of Might, Lord Slug, Cooler's Revenge, Return of Cooler, Super Android 13, All the Brawlies, Bojack, Bio Broly, Fusion Reborn, Wrath of the Dragon, like all 15 movies from day one, basically, in Z, are now going to be out by July 6th. Oh, that's cool. Between the 22nd the and the yeah. 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 Part. And they'll be in English, Brazilian, Portuguese, and Spanish for the most part for all of them. Yeah, for all of them. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna go back and rewatch um um Super Broly because I enjoyed that movie. I enjoyed yeah. that a lot. Yeah, I did too. US, Canada, Latin America, Australia, and New Zealand for all of these as well. Uh actually a few of them also have German and French. Oh, no. Well, that wasn't really a movie, so oh, wait, that yeah. was actually a, wait a minute. They don't got battle of gods. Good. I just noticed that they don't got battle of gods. Garlic Jr. Garlic Jr. These are the that, these, these are, are Z, the Z movies, not Z super movies. movies. Yeah, these are Z movies. So GT D Dragon Ball, those aren't in there. Right. And Super Broly is the only only super movie that's on up there. Yeah. That's interesting. No battle of gods. That's an inter- that's an interesting omission. Oh, well, it may already be on here. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Yeah, it probably is. Here, let me see here. Okay. Go back to Crunchyroll. Uh, do, do, do. No, it's not. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, it's not on here. Might be a rights thing or something. As possible. Um, also, as a side note, there is talk of another season for Aristocrats, otherworldly adventure, but nothing official yet. So I've been kind of is that, keeping hold an on. eye on that. Aristocrats, that's the one with um this one. Yeah, that's yeah, one of the animes the I finished. Yeah, he got the ten, the ten all ten gods gave him the number gave him ten yeah. points. Yeah. That was hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. I like that one. Uh, so yeah. So this and this is straight off Crunchyroll site. So uh, feel free to look that up if you are a old school DBZ fan and you're looking for the movies. They are there, uh, or they will be there by the sixth. All right. And then finally, I mean, Ooh. not you know. Per oh, se, finally, back. not the last thing of all that we're talking about, but um, we were talking about Ava- Avatar Last Airbender last time. Um, and as much as we don't want to see it, I did catch a trailer I found <laughs> for it. Gotta go. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like. I, we don't know how it's going to be. As long as it's not like that one Dragon Ball movie that doesn't exist, then I'm fine. Uh, but this is just the trailer. They didn't really show anything other than the elementals. You know what I mean? The right. Elements right. There. So, but it's supposed to be coming next year. We'll see what happens with that. Again, we saw we saw the images of the people from last time that they had. Of the actors, I'm not gonna lie. He looks like Soka. I'm just gonna put that out there. He, <laughs> he, he definitely matches Soka. Um, I think it'll end up being based on how they do the storyline and how they do the acting of it. Because the fight scenes, yeah, that's gonna make it up. We know though at this point we have we have the graphics and technology to make it look right as long as the budget's there. This is a Netflix movie. We know Netflix has the budget. It's clearly at one piece right <laughs> so we know money is not the issue here you know what i mean um so it should be better than the last one but we'll see what happens but hey i'm we'll gonna see. take a quick five and i i'll try to come back to y'all in a minute had to stop and gas up or whatever are you good bro take your time uh, no rush b-r-b-a-s-a-p k-i-t t-y-l t-y-l 
Oh. <laughs> um. So we got that's most of the stuff in the uh, anime that we got done there. Uh, as far as gaming, though, there were a couple of different things that popped up. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna do the shortest stuff first, which is actually gonna be Pokemon. Um, it's a pretty simple one. We have Inteleon coming to Unite, which we just talked about last week. <laughs> right. uh, but he'll be here on the fourth. Pop off with, with Inteleon. Yeah. So he'll be here on the fourth. Like I was talking to Rod before, I think that this is going to be something that is a uh, competitor for Decidueye as far as long range snipers across the board type deal. Um, if we could get something that's like solar beam from him, you know what I mean? Like a long, long range cannon. That would be amazing, but we'll see. I'm wondering what his um, Unite moves going to be. If it's going to be the G-Max. I know some people are thinking maybe it's G-Max form because he has a sniper spin with the Oak. Yeah. Oh, my God. What if they do, like, remember Smash um, Snakes, Final Smash and Smash Brothers? Oh, where he sits down with the gun? Yep. That could be it. That could do it. I wouldn't be surprised. They- They've been coming up with some pretty outside of the evolution. They've been coming up with some pretty cool unite moves for most of the Pokemon. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so there, there is that. Um, Nintendo. Mm-mm. There was a direct that came out of twenty first. I want to say it something, was, something like that. It was Thursdays and Wednesday or Thursday, so that's probably yeah. probably right. Um, I'm not gonna play the full thing. I'm gonna kind of let it run. I'm turning the sound off for it. Um, there's here. Oh, I do want to show this because this is the hidden treasure uh, for Area Zero. I was gonna show that anyway, <clears throat> so I'll let that kind of ride in the background as we go. Um, did you have any additional news on this one, Rod? Not much going on. Like I said, a lot of. Okay, people were not expecting this in the Nintendo Direct. We knew there was a Nintendo Direct coming. Usually, Pokemon does its own Direct, so this was a True. big surprise. And the fact they started with this, and what came along afterwards with this Direct is tell- it was surprising. Pokemon is yeah. usually never, ever in a Nintendo Direct. Never, ever. Very true. Very true. They always have Pokemon Direct. Pokemon has its own Direct that they so- post stuff in. Uh, so I believe maybe because it's a DLC, they may have done it because it wasn't the full What's game. The f- yeah. You know? I'm saying I get Scarlet myself, so I'm going to definitely probably get a double pack of this and uh, get Scarlet and the DLC together. Uh, but they're adding gotcha. new Pokemon, and this is pretty much like one of the DLC is like you're going on like a summer vacation, <laughs> kind of, which is what they're yeah. showing right now. And actually, I'm going to pause this one real quick because in the actual DLC on Scarlet Violet site, uh, I want to freeze frame here at the end for everyone. So this is the... Uh, there we go. This is what that's looking like for the full thing. Uh, however, there are some codes. I'm going to kind of freeze frame it here if anybody wants to grab them. Uh, so this event for the Terra Raid, for the Chess Gimme Ghoul... One to five star raids that's going to be on the 21st. So that's already passed, um, but it's going to be through the 22nd. So there are going to be a couple of them. Also, code Treasure Hunt will be available to use in either one for nuggets, rare candies, and friend balls. Um, so jot that down if you can. Mm-hmm. Treasure Hunt, I'll drop it in the chat as well. Yeah, that's a um, nice surprise. Like I said, like I said they sort of the Nintendo Pokemon was like the surprise, but. As you went along, they just kept dropping the. If you play spades, and you're gonna understand this song. They're trying to just do another damn Boston. If you understand spades, you understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like uh, Nintendo, so yeah, Nintendo the thirty first. That'll work. Oh, that's cool. So just, just so you all are aware. Yeah, that's pretty cool for people who don't have the game or just start now. Nuggets are very mm-hmm. important. Uh, see, so yeah, there was Sonic, a couple Sonic games, something called Palia, Persona 5, Myth Force. And if any of these are in, like, you guys want to actually watch it, I'm not going to watch the full thing because it's 40 minutes. Yes. Uh, but if there's yeah. any of these you want to see, let me know. 
Yeah, Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Superstars was PlayStation announced it first. Until just saying it's for the Switch, but mm -hmm. Sonic Superstars is looking good. It's pretty much if you were waiting for a new Super Mario Brothers Sonic style, you're definitely getting that. Mm -hmm. And then you got uh, we're also getting another Pikachu. Yeah. This has been sitting in the cooker for a while. People have been waiting for a sequel for this. Oh yeah. Uh, new Super Mario, as he was saying. Then there's the remake for Super Mario RPG. If you can find that clip. Yeah. Uh, right here. Yep. There you go. Super Mario RPG. Let me get to the gameplay of it. There we go. Uh, Princess Peach game. And I guess an enhanced version of Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, and Luigi Mansion Dark Moon, the second game. Uh huh. Uh, Batman Arkham Trilogy is coming to it. Gloomhaven is coming. Sorry. Of course, a new Just Dance. You got to have one of those every year. Yeah. It's turning to its own platform, too. So. Okay. So your Silent Hope, Fay Farm, Hot Wheels Unleashed, Manic yeah. Maniacs, Mario Rabbit. He has another DLC this for yeah. Spark the Hope. Dragon Quest Monsters, yep. Pikmin Four, which that one just recently came out. They've been really about that. Um, yeah, recently. people like Pikmin. I I don't get the appeal of it, but but there's four games for a reason. Pikmin is one of those older games that they have a cult following almost. It's kind of like Lemmings back in the day. Um, oh, we didn't yeah. we didn't have a lot of games. You know what I mean? I know I used to love Lemmings back in the day. Yeah. Uh, but then, but that was what we had. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Metal Gear Solid, they're bringing over. So, looks like that looks like it'll be not bad. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Looks like it's going to be the collection, the master collection that they're bringing through. Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3. Snake Eater. Survive the jungle and confront your former mentor. Yeah, it looks like they've got to have a couple of them. the games that started the series. Metal Gear, um, but Headbangers, Metal Rhythm, Gear Vampire Two, Shadows, Penny's Big Breakaway, well Mario Kart 8, Deluxe Legends Booster Pack. Oh, yeah, Day Mario Kart Five. Revenge. Yeah, Mario Kart has some good stuff with the DLC with the new characters. Mario Kart Double Dash, PD so that'll be cool. We got the Mario Double Dash and Double Dash, uh courses and characters wiggler and then they bought comic back oh uh, yeah comic is he's that dude he a real one as they say he a real one <laughs> yeah five of the mario here wario wear which was a big surprise wario is a moving game the micro game react quickly with the right movement and you'll be on the road to victory that's interesting if you've got two so you actually got to move with, with it friend in local co-op Sync up your actions to beat each micro game. Plus, up to four players can huh. live it up across various mini games in party mode. Oh, that's cool. For example, cool. this dicey board game is going to keep you on your toes. All right. So, yeah, that was that. Get your um, moving in over. They got the what they ended off with, which is the biggest surprise goal because nobody was expecting it. In WarioWare, uh, move it. Here. Launching on the which Nintendo part you talking about? Mario. <laughs> this one? Yeah. yeah. Like who, who? Anybody had a 2D Mario on their video card this year? Yeah, no. Not at all. But they also had an issue because they're uh they had a meeting with their shareholders, and the shareholders were like, "Yo, so what are y'all bringing?" And then all of a sudden, this happened. Like this happened right after the shareholders meeting, so I feel like it was done in relation to that. It wasn't really like a oh we're gonna normally, you know what I mean? I don't think it was really planned to happen initially, right? It just and then did, and then as you saw it. there, they got Princess Daisy as a playable character. This sounds like a new character, uh huh. Two D games, but yeah, we, and Yoshi, and Yoshi's a playable character by himself. Oh, that's nice. So, I mean, you I, can't go wrong with a Mario game, though. Let's be honest. So, like, this looks you have to come up with new new levels. But other than that, you really can't go bad with a with the Mario game. This looks fun. This is like this is gonna be fun. 
네. 아, I mean, think about this is Our crazy. Is wonder. Like this is a, this is crazy. We got a Final Fantasy, 2D Sonic, 2D Mario all coming out within the same calendar year. When is the mm-hmm. last time that's happened, or if it's ever happened? Like that's crazy. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's definitely been a minute. Yeah. All right, and then uh, other than that, we had Sonic Central. Yeah, and Sonic, Sonic Central Plus. So this was the third annual Sonic Central. I'm just going to let it ride kind of in the background again, as we did before. Um, and I'll let Rod take this one over. Go for it. Yeah, they did Sonic Central. This is just to celebrate Sonic's 32nd birthday, which made me feel old as hell. And I said that. Was like 30. Yo, yeah, his birthday was what? The 23rd? 20, yeah, 23rd, yeah. Sonic's yeah. birthday was the 23rd. He turned 32 on the 23rd. I was like, ain't that some stuff? Like, make me feel old. It's bad enough transport is almost in his 40. Like, this is making me really feel old. Right, but they had a lot of stuff here. They showed Sonic Origins, Sonic Prime, which I have to watch because I, I kind of forgot about Sonic Prime. I'm not gonna even lie, I ain't gonna even lie, I forgot about Sonic um Prime. But Sonic's definitely yeah. on the comeback trail, like he's back, like he back back. Yeah, after that movie hit, yeah, it's a new it's a new era of kids. It's a whole new era of kids now, and they like they added so Sonic Central. Talked about a couple things. They talked about the Sonic Origins Plus, which I'll come back to the central here in a second. Yeah, Origin talk- Plus is pretty much they've already had this out for a minute. This yep. is like they did it with Sonic Made. They had the regular Sonic Made, then they came out with like the Plus DLCs. So this is same kind of the same situation here, but this time you get to play as Amy in all the classic games. So you can play as yep. Amy in Sonic One, Two, Three, and Amy as they- and Knuckles, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And then let's we just saw a clip. Um, earlier, you could have Amy be super, which she's never turned super in the class. Okay. Yeah. So it should be very interesting. I probably, I probably would just play Amy on Sonic CD because maybe she's rescuing Sonic. Maybe <laughs> switch it up. Maybe Metal Sonic kidnap Sonic. That would be funny. Right. But it's uh it's a uh, sixteen games, um, total in the one. And you can mm-hmm. play her and Knuckles in Sonic 1, 2, Sonic CD, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the first time ever. Mm-hmm. So. And you got the Game Gear games. Which usually, I usually forget about the Game Gear games, but nice to see mm-hmm. them. There are some good ones in there. Like the hardest one is actually Sonic 2 Game Gears. That is the hardest mm-hmm. one. But there's some good ones in there. Sonic Drift, I would recommend playing Sonic Drift 1 and 2. If they're in the collection, I would definitely. And then, like I said, they're adding, they added some birthday stuff for Frontier. This is another game I still have to cop myself. Sonic Frontier, yeah. So it's supposed to be the first open world Sonic game. It just came out this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, towards the, the last end, year, early this year. Last holiday, I think. Last holiday, okay. Like I was, yeah. I was on a, fen- I was on a fence about them. Like open world Sonic, I was too skeptical. But it's, it looks like it's done really well, though, from what I've heard. So. I haven't heard. I haven't had any bad reviews yet of it. You know, there have been some meh reviews, but nothing bad. I'll say. Yeah, just open world Sonic just sounds weird. But then we said the same thing about Odyssey. So. Mm-hmm. And then Sonic Prime's kind of like was a good fan fiction idea from what I've heard. It's like it's like Sonic did what Barry did in Flashpoint. He kind of broke the timeline. So. Right. And now Shadow's like. Like you fucked up, and now here I am trying to clean your shit up. <laughs> pretty much, that's what the trailer's pretty much saying. Right. Over the stars, or say goodbye to your friends forever. You want the shard? Oh, new little cartoon have to series. Hang on to your boots. <laughs> I'm with it. Yeah. But wasn't it, it with speedsters and messing up the you? timeline? No, it's they can only do one thing. Run. <laughs> Coming to Netflix <laughs> July 13th. Timeline, I swear they always script the timeline. In addition, Sonic Dash, the original endless running game on mobile, is making its official debut exclusively for Netflix as Sonic Prime Dash and will launch alongside the new season of Sonic Prime. That was the first game like that too, wasn't it? One of the first, yeah. Like hey. Mario, 
I'm already on one too for a hot minute. Up next, we've got some exciting news from your favorite Sonic mobile games to help pump up the birthdays. So yeah, bump from some additional mobile games they had Sonic's going. Sonic's 30th anniversary symphony concert and enjoy yeah, this some sounds fun. Hold on, when is this? Wait a minute. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Experience the magic there we go. of Sonic's greatest moments on the big screen with a live symphony orchestra and rock band. Get excited because the Sonic Symphony World Tour will officially kick off September 16th at Barbican Hall in London. Relive highlights from Sonic's 30th anniversary yeah. symphony concert and enjoy some new surprises as well. Select shows will also feature special musical guests. I would love Live performances to go to a show like this Paris, about like, Los Angeles, Sao like Paulo, anime Boston, or gaming and Chicago through October. soundtracks. In February, the tour makes its way to Asia, kicking off with a performance in Tokyo, Japan. Man, look up the Chicago dude. Plus, stay tuned for more Might dates and cities. Hold on, hold on, wait. Uh, uh, pause that, pause that. Come back. <laughs> I think I saw Atlanta too. Go. Yeah, I did. Plus, stay tuned for more dates. There we go. All okay. right, got uh, L.A., Boston, Chicago. San Antonio, Atlanta, LA again, San Francisco, DC, KC, Missouri, mm -hmm. couple in Toronto and Canada, Portland, Oregon, and Tokyo. Interesting. I hit New York. That's kind of surprising. Sao Paul in Brazil, Dusseldorf. Of course, had to hit Dusseldorf. Uh, London. Yeah. What's the date for what Boston? We, we don't have dates yet. What, what are we talking about again? Symphony World Tour. So Sonic the Symphony what? World Tour. Oh. They're basically doing like a rock and classical concert of all Sonic the Hedgehog's music from 30 years. <laughs> yeah. So it's supposed to be a concert coming in Chicago. There's one in Atlanta. Um, we just don't have the dates yet. On it. LA, San Fran, D. I'm surprised they're not hitting New York. I'm surprised about that, actually. That's New York. Don't love, don't love Sonic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Could have conflicted with it something else, you know. True. So that that's something you can you may be the case. How they say SonicSymphony.com, Sonic Symphony Tour dot dot com. Jot that down I'll put it in the chat here. Sonic. So that you all can look that up. Actually, let's go to the site now just so everybody can see it. Yep. All right. All right. Yep. Four one four. Do you? Does it not work? Uh, no, put you two had two. Yep. Yeah. SonicSensor2.com tour dates. What do we have here? Do we have here? Okay, here we go. London, September 6th. Chicago. Okay, Boston is October 21st. Chicago is October 28th. So your KCMO is January 24th. Tokyo, the Line Cube in Shibuya. I bet you that concert will be. Oh, so that's gonna be stupid. lit! You know that. That's gonna be lit. I bet you that was. Oh my gosh! All right, so look, if y'all want to do something for my birthday, <laughs> we can go there. <laughs> like, <laughs> flat up, we can all go there. Like, word. <laughs> uh, Atlanta was Cobb Energy and December 29th of this. Oh, year. right around. Oh, that'd be a nice Christmas. That'd be a nice. Christmas. It would be a nice Christmas concert. That really would. Chicago, I know I can't go. I'll be at LA Horicon that weekend, so I can't go that one. Oh, in October, yeah, yeah. Oh no, wait, no, no, no. October twenty eighth. No, oh wait, no, I'm not. That's September twenty eighth. I'm oh, ooh, I might have to look into that. Yeah, no, that's the LA one is uh, September thirtieth. So, oh, so, ooh, wait a minute, I'm, I'm gonna be into. Hmm. Yeah, I might just check the tickets for that one. I see, it's September twenty ninth is. The Atlanta one, the Boston one, like I said, October 21st. Kansas City, Missouri is January 27th. And then February 11th is Tokyo. Uh, Portland. Oh, wow. The these are on here. So. Tickets are selling out fast. I just checked the LA show. 
Um, they were the ones that the set. Yeah, it's a that's the thirtieth. Yeah, one of the shows is already sold out. The Eight o'clock show sold out. Let's see what we got here. Uh, fine tickets. Saturday, yeah. Looks like Saturday show is the only one that's left. The eight p.m. one, uh, in the Adobe Theater. <laughs> so, if you're looking, where, where's where's it gonna be at in Atlanta? Cobb in Atlanta, Energy. Cobb Energy. Performing Arts Center. Oh, they haven't started pre-sale for that. They are. Start. Yep, they haven't even started them yet. So two days away, four days away to pre-sale. Let's see how much are the tickets anyway. I'm just kind of curious. I'm gonna look at the LA. He'll already be in LA that weekend anyway. Let's see. So if y'all get a chance, take a look at them. See what they look like. See what the ticket prices are. Well, they don't have any prices up here right now. Oh, let me shit. actually look at the LA. Yeah, looks. Yeah, I thought that eight o'clock one sold out that fast. I mean, they're going to be based on location too, so the prices in one is not going to be the price in another. Okay. Yes, I was saying send me to Tokyo. Yes, I was. I was saying all of us go to Tokyo personally. Is rarely what I was saying, but <laughs> he said I'm okay with that. <laughs> one oh five for the Mez G Mez one. Ooh, these are crazy. Here. I'm looking at the LA prices. Ooh, these are crazy. yeah. These are the LA prices here. Ooh. But still, orchestra front center row two eight two eighty. That's not bad mm. for an orchestra concert. That's not bad at all. I've never been to an orchestra. So I oh yeah, know. like for a major orchestra concert, you're looking close to three to four hundred dollars. So yeah, two eighty two for front row, basically. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like this is your front, the front segment. You're catching all the sound here. For 280, that's not bad at all. Um, if you're back out here. Oh wow. I was looking yeah, to 450 like, for some of these. You see what I mean? Oh wow. I just looked up the Chicago one. Tickets start at forty four dollars. Ooh, Chicago might be a better deal. That's what it's it's gonna depend on where you are and where you sit and how right. early you get them. True. Let me get on this newsletter right now because it's like you can you can start early with the if you want if you subscribe to the newsletter that might not be a yep. bad idea. Yep. Just jump on the newsletter. So yeah, make sure you guys do that as well. That's where I normally sit is in the front. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we hit Sonic. We hit the um, Sonic Central. Oh. So I don't know. For those of you who didn't know, I started streaming Diablo Four yesterday, um, and I did not know, unbeknownst to me, Whoopi Goldberg also plays Diablo Four and Diablo. She's a Diablo fan. However, Whoopi had to be Whoopi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <laughs> because, heard about this story, <laughs> right? Because Whoopi was mad that, and rightfully so, that that she be here. No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> That she was not, um, she wasn't refunded, and a lot of people, I guess, had the same situation. They thought it was going to be available on Apple computers, and it is not. It's only on PC. Oh Mac. wow! Yeah, it's not on Mac. So people were buying copies of it or uh, pre-orders, thinking they could get it on their Macs, and they could not. Um, and she was one of them. So she raised a little bit of a stink about it. They did refund her. She she did give them their credit. Um, talking about you know that they did they did right by her and everything, so she was happy with them. You know what I mean. So it wasn't a bad thing, but it was just more of a she did make a little bit of a stink about it initially, and so there's that. Um, but it, I don't know how many other people will be getting their refund. Hopefully, everyone, because right. I mean, if you can't get the game, if you can't play the game, there's no point in getting the game. You yeah. know, it doesn't don't make sense. So if I pre-ordered it for a system, I would think I'm going to get it on there, and I don't. Well, there's that. You know what I mean? Well, that's a missed opportunity. I wonder why I'm releasing it on Mac. That's a... It's a Microsoft game. It's Blizzard. Because remember, and that goes into the second part. Oh, so, I forgot right. about that. Blizzard, oh, Blizzard yeah. right. Remember, there's that Activision <laughs> Blizzard thing going on right now with Microsoft. Oh, you so know. Scary. So this right here, I want to show y'all this. 
Uh, this actually came down from uh, was it Jim, I believe, Jim Ryan from Sony. And basically, he's like, yo, we're not giving y'all any information about PS6 yes. because you're now a competitor at that point. Think about the number of games that we've had from Activision and Blizzard as console exclusives for Sony over the years. Oh, yeah, that's true. They they the ops at that point. I get it. Right. They're the ops. And so if this goes through, they will be the ops for real, for real. The black ops, right? So, all of that is gone at that point. That whole Sony network is probably going to shatter when it comes to Activision and Blizzard games. Now, fine by me. You know what? You and your Xbox buddies can all go sit in the corner. corner. Hey, hey, watch your mouth. (laughs) I heard you. I'm talking to you, Jay. You heard me. I didn't say nothing. He said something. I would just, I'm just here. Shoot. I'm a gamer. You know, matter what. By the time y'all started, people just got put in your place. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Talk to all y'all. Yeah. All y'all people. Anyway, but yeah. So that's that's still in the that's, that's you know, still in the situation. You know, in the situation. Uh, who's got the audio on? Who's got the audio on? <laughs> she said, "I'm gonna take the batteries out your controller." Wow! You know what? I respect money for that one. <laughs> wow, money! Thug hey. life, thug hey. right for real, thug life. Hey. Um. So there's that. Um. I want to just kind of uh, take give us some. Uh, keep taking your games. I bet. All right. We'll see right. about that. We'll see about that. Will people go? Will, will people switch consoles? That'd be the big question. It won't. That's not gonna happen. Hell no. That's He's not gonna happen. All day. Sorry, I need some water. Whew. I want to put this out there. This is just a safety notice. I ran across this the other day while I was on Facebook, and I thought that it was a great thing to do. Um, this is literally just a safety thing. So if you're ever oh, lost yeah. while hiking. You get stranded, broken down car, et cetera, anything like that. And you notice your cell phone is either low on juice or has no signal. A tip that can help save your life, possibly. Change your voicemail to a message that gives your approximate location, the time, the date, and the situation. Whether you're lost, you're out of gas, car's broken down, injured, whatever it is. And any special instructions, such as where you're staying with the car. Like if you're staying with the car um if you're walking towards a town if you're walking towards a store the thing is even if the phone dies like it's saying stops working your voicemail does not stop working and so it gives people a place to look and start their search for you if something were to happen and in this day and age any little edge you can get for that will be better you know what i mean Um, even if, you know, hey, got a ride from blah, 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 uh, got ride from tow truck. This was the tow truck uh, VIN number or, you know, license plate number heading into town car broke down here. You know what I mean? It gives someone something to go off of. So something I kind of, I saw, I thought it was a great idea. I want to put that out there for anyone who might not have thought about that. That's what's up. Yeah, we always try to do something helpful when we can. So, <laughs> um, now onto some funny stuff. Y'all remember Elf on a Shelf, right? Yeah. What y'all know about this? You say what to do say. <laughs> what y'all know about that? You say what to do say. Yes, <laughs> sir. Uh, and then I also found this out, which was hilarious. So, SpongeBob voice actor is married to Plankton's computer wife, Karen. Yeah, voice actor. That is common. <laughs> and then I saw this, and it was like SpongeBob and the computer making all lovey sounds with Plankton being mad. <laughs> so, that's so, I thought that was hilarious. So, that confirms Plankton is a, you know what? I'm not going to dive into that topic. Nope. I'm yeah, gonna see, gonna... stop, stop. I'm going to stop myself today. I'm, I'm going to be nice. Oh man. Uh and then also we kind of heard the rumors that 
Killer Mike said three stacks is back in the studio, supposed to be. So we'll yeah, see. Allegedly. Right. We'll see. So, I'm looking forward to it if he does. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and then we just talked about this literally last week. Talking about that era that Disney missed out on for live action movies. Yeah. These are the four. Hands down. Treasure Planet, Titan IE, Atlantis, and El Dorado. Yeah, the show. Not gonna lie, I haven't seen any of these. Is El Dorado Disney? Oh, I don't know that. Rod, oh, you gotta go watch them, bro. Rod, Rod relentless. That was early two thousand. That was college. That was college era. You gotta watch those, bro. Yep. Even today, they we are were still also in college. Right? Nah. <laughs> Even today, they are still a one. Big fat. All of them, and that was that. That was that 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 three D ish graphic that they were using that they were experimenting with back mm-hmm. in the, at that time. Then they stopped. Why? I still don't know. Probably money. Disney's Disney. They got plenty of that. Probably won't make enough profit. You never know. I love it. Yeah, Landis is a great movie. Atlantis was a great movie. And we got the character. We have the people that could easily play those roles, especially. So, I'm for it. I think these four should be made in live action movies, and they stop messing with everything else. That's a cartoon, and leave <laughs> leave those alone. Work on these. Call it a day. That's my suggestion. Understand. But yeah, we were just talking about that last week. Oh, all right. Let's see. <sighs> Sorry, I had a quick yawn there. All right. So, is there anything else you all want to hit specifically that you all want to hit on? Wait a minute. Piece? Pause. Stop the press. What was that we were just talking about? Oh, the Disney movies that, that we talked about last week. Okay. Uh, What happened? Because I missed I see four of my favorite movies all the time that people don't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was see, saying these I are see the Titan Age, Treasure Planet, Atlantis, and Bro El Dorado. My top favorite yep. four movies. Yep. I was saying these are the four that they should do the live action. I said we just talked about it last week. It was like these are the four movies they should do live action and leave everything else alone. <laughs> Facts. So in that order, yeah, make awesome. sure the El Dorado is last. It would be the easiest. I would do that one first. Mm-mm. Why you say Mm-mm. that? Because the actors I want to play them ain't old enough yet. <laughs> who, okay, hold on. Who do you want to play them? Hey, hey, hey listen. For for um, Tulio, for Tulio, oh. it gotta be. Hold on, Tulio and Miguel. Miguel is the yeah. one in red, right? Yes. Yeah. Let me double. Check. Yes, I need. I, you gotta give me a. I want an older Tom Holland for Miguel. Strictly, I just, I just Holland? want his goofiness. Ooh. Hear me out. Hear me out. He is a goofy man child. Tulio is, a... is. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, Tulio has black hair. Miguel has the yellow hair. He's a blonde. Yes. Yeah. I would like, if, if, I, if it's somebody younger, I would like a young, I mean, well, older Tom Holland. In about five years to be a goofy Miguel. I know we see Tom Holland and everything, but I've seen him just outside being himself, like in his uh, little, uh, his little, his little uh, vlogs. I feel like right. he would be a funny Miguel. You just gotta find his right Tulio. You gotta. I just gotta find a perfect Tulio right now. Hmm. I can't not see it. But I, I can't say 100% yes. I'll make something funny for you. The Chief should be Rikishi. Oh, no, that would be hilarious. Yes, that's 100%. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll, I'll give you that all day. Yeah. I'm trying to see here. Yeah, yeah, like all of these. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know who I would. I don't know who I would put. I got no dog in the fight with this one because I ain't seen nothing. Uh, for for um Atlantis, the Lost Empire, Coco Jones, and um and uh, um the CW's Flash. Oh yeah, we talked about that definitely. Yeah, definitely. CW's Flash for for the main character. All day. Yes, and Milo. The uh the general from Avatar, doing yes. the general. I mean that's it. His, that's him. That's him. Like. And just, listen for for the um the antagonist woman, I can see somebody else, but for some reason in my head right now, because she got that mole in the same spot, um Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I can well, see who, that. Under well, the one that works under the captain. Yeah, the um the bad yeah. guy, the girl bad guy, the blonde hair. Yeah. Yep. I can see that. Yeah, what, uh, we'll have to the, sit down with this. We'll come back. We're gonna take these four, and we'll come back and do like a whole piece on these four. Homework, boom. Yeah, homework. Everybody got to fill out the homework. cast. <laughs> Y'all can homework. pick a movie. I do. I'm doing all four. <laughs> so we'll do that. We'll come back with that. That's definitely one to do. Um, but no, that's all. That's all we were doing. And then I was asking, did anybody have anything? Uh, Additional that they wanted to talk about. I got nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, oh, one of the things. Xbox Pad Game Pass is going up on the sixth of July. Yeah. Uh, basic. It's going to be from nine ninety nine to ten ninety nine. Ultimate will be fourteen ninety nine to sixteen ninety nine as of the sixth. Now, if you're already a subscriber, then it won't jump up. Excuse me until August thirteenth. Now they say it has nothing to do with Blizzard's uh, acquisition. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. <laughs> Just like Netflix and One Piece, but okay. right, <laughs> right. But yeah. So just a shout out for that. Um, yeah. Other than that, I'm trying to see here. Oh, fighting games. This was just a little funny thing that I ran across. Um, when it looks at when you look at a fighting game, every game has the same character types, and I thought it was funny. So you got the Karate Kid, the Bruce Lee, the soldier, the underage-looking kid girl. There's a boxer. There's a drunken master. A wrestler. A sexy girl and a ninja. Yeah, sounds about yeah. right. <laughs> Can't no disagree. What video game you have that's a fighting game, that's what happens. Unless you're just talking about the ones based off something else, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. I no, I was thinking of Dragon Ball Fighters, but uh... okay, because that's based off something else. Yeah, we're talking about just a straight fighting game, and oh, even straight. with that though, you have each one of those in there because in dragon ball you've got all of them are karate kids right um the underage looking girl would be adele little female right adele um drunken master not really but you have the weird one there's always the weird character yeah there you go there's that the sexy girl you have the new boo iteration that you put in there. All right, eighteen and eighteen. Yeah. Uh, as far as boxer goes, hit, hit, yeah, hit would be a boxer. <laughs> um, ninja. Let's see here. Not General Tao, but he's not in General the game. General Tao, yeah, but he's not in yeah. the game. For so what? Fighters. General Tao's not in the game. Oh, he's not in the fighters. I'm thinking about all the other Dragon Ball Z games. Like, if you're gonna go with Dragon Ball Z, you can go off of Budokai Tenkaichi three just because it has the, the biggest roster right. and it fits the, the bill. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you're gonna go anybody in the army, anybody in the Red Ribbon army. <laughs> right. right. True. So, I guess. And then sixteen would fall under wrestler. Sixteen yeah. and Napa. Yeah, and Napa. 
Yep. True. I can see that. Raccoon. So Bruce Lee would be, uh, Raccoon. Yeah. For what? Oh. Raccoon would also do it because his attack is a wrestling attack. True. Uh. So yeah, and then oh, Bruce wrestling. Lee is uh, who was Bruce Ultra Lee? Uh, what's his name with the third eye? Tien. Oh, Tien. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. I can yeah. See for sure. So yeah, they all. I mean, for the most part, they all fit. <laughs> yeah, I thought Dragon Ball Fighters might be the exception. I guess I was wrong. Nah, they got it. So, but I thought that was funny when I saw that. That was an interesting little, little peek. All right, so we've got our news out the way. I'm surprised we actually got through it in uh in the time frame that I, I tried to set. So that was good. Um, we are going to take. A quick, you guys want to take a quick five, quick ten? Yes. That's good for y'all. Yeah, whatever you want. I don't care. Don't matter. Okay. Um, we're going to wait for Jay to get back because I don't I want to make sure we can get him in here and get yeah. him going. Uh, then we'll take a quick five. Uh, we will chew the fat, so to speak. I'm going to get a few things set up and ready to go. Um, And then we'll kind of go from there. Um, let me take a quick look here. My bad. Didn't mean that. Schedule our Discord watch party. Uh, what what are we wanting to do? You, are you what do you want to watch? I know we had mentioned something earlier today. No, um, that's what she's talking about. Okay, I, gotcha, gotcha. I know we had talked about watching like the the end of the Masters Eight for Pokemon since the dubs out. I know we have that is also true. Um, oh. yeah, that is something we can do. We will set that schedule up sometime this week. Um, we won't do it this week, but we'll schedule some time this week. Um, yeah, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I haven't watched. You gotta find it first anyway. Yeah. I gotta figure out where it is. Well, we got the Pokemon order. I gotta figure out where the um, yeah, that I mean, uh, other thing is. I mean, if Netflix still does this watch party, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Oh no, no, we're talking about the um, oh, the Chinese, yeah, uh, the Chinese anime. Oh yeah, that did look kind of cool. Oh, that shit about to be fire. Another oh. anime. Some of these enemies seem to be behind these smaller guys that use clips like that, but man, that's another conversation for another day. Yeah, it's definitely a uh, something that we that can be worked with because that's all these new these newer newer. There's a lot of talent. There's a whole lot of talent out here, and yeah. people be sleeping on it. You know what I mean? Like, just to be sleeping. Um, Because it's not a main thing, or they don't want to, they don't want to go against the grain and find something new, or, hey, this works, so I'm going to stick with that. Instead of looking at what the possibilities are, like, the human imagination is one of the most amazing things in the world, hands down. True, 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 true. I know we were talking about creators early. I was reading the My Hero uh, manga, Mm-hmm. And speaking of news, Hoda Kochi is on another two week break, so that man is breaking okay. down towards the end. So it, it's kind of sad to see he's just breaking down towards the end. Uh, about yeah, that. hopefully, hopefully he can. I'll, I don't care if it stops, you know what I mean? Like, it's written, it's been written. If we really want to go find it, we can go read it if we need to. I just, if he if it's damaging him to that point, stop, bro. Take a rest, like where it's not I, worth it. I know he's been saying he wanted to finish it before the end of this calendar year, yeah. but I don't know. Probably just pre- the pressure is probably just. But, but I guess you could say that with a lot of creators, we get towards the end of your story, like you feel mm-hmm. the pressure of trying to finish it. You like, do. Yeah, I can definitely see that because there's that whole like I'm done with this part, 
where do I go from here? Or I just want to get it done with and over to say that it's complete. True. You know? True. Yeah, I mean, I would hate for him to burn out towards the end, but I mean, didn't that happen in Tagashi too? Didn't that happen? Then we got burned mm-hmm. out. And well, Hunter Hunter got burned out. Yeah. 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 And I hope you know, I'm just hoping the same thing's not happening to him either. I know I know that this ain't even sick the last couple of weeks of just you know, just prayers, and then we still got older with his eye surgery. These these guys are getting up mm-hmm. there in age, and yeah. You know, and the amount of focus and time that they've had to put into their craft, like yes. think of the decades just sitting as a as an anchor in his room. You know what I mean? Like the amount of knowledge you probably picked up working with somebody like them has got to be insane and valuable but they've been there from day one they're about having like steady like steady careers like yeah like i mean if i was an anchor for odo all these years i wouldn't even want to do nothing else. i'm like you know what i'm good i'm good like that 20 years of anchor maybe maybe do your one shot one shot every now and again if you get an idea Mm -hmm. it was like hey you were you were older you can you you got a one shot idea go for it yeah yeah. I believe that's how Naruto and Bleach's creators started. I think they were both assistants under Oda, if I remember hearing correctly somewhere. They, mm-hmm. were, they were both assistants under Oda. So it's just amazing. Like some of these people, you just you hate you don't want to see these creators burn out at the end there. You just don't. I'll leave it at that. Like you right. You don't want these creators to burn out. It is a mm-hmm. It's a thing, like, it is a and thing. the other part is like you get sometime, and I don't know if any of you get like this, but like I know I'll be in the middle of writing writing something, and in the middle of me writing it, I will be like, the fifty million other ideas that come into your head on a, on a daily basis, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you'd be like, okay, I want to finish this, but I want to start on this, but I gotta finish this, like. Where do I go from here? You know, I don't want to finish this. I want to jump over here and do this, or I want to go do that. And it's just like, ugh. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, the craziness is real. Craziness is real. All right. Well, he's not back yet. I don't know where he went. Um, if he hits, yeah, yeah we're going to do a quick five. Um let me know if he pops back uh, or let him know that if he pops back, then um, I'll let him in as soon as we get back. Uh, we're going to do a quick five, though, for everybody. Get some water. Use the restroom. I'm going to prep up some stuff for us, and then we're going to start our D&D portion of the show. Okay. All right. All right. Be right back.
Sorry, clearing the screen. All right. Well, we'll see. If without Jay. Uh, we'll give him a little second or two. If he can't make it because of where we are in the story, y'all yeah, we'll postpone to the next month for the DD portion. Okay. That's cool. Okay. So we'll give him a little bit of time. I know he's driving. How, you know, roughly how long he got left? Uh, I think two hours. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, then. Hmm. Sorry, cookie. Hmm. Hmm. All right, sorry, chips away cookie. It was good. Um. Well, if that's the case, because he's going to be going through mountains, and his signal's not going to be really good. Let's go ahead and we'll do this. We'll go ahead and end the show here today. Right. And then we'll plan a full D&D show next month. So we won't do news updates. We'll just do the full time doing D&D. &D. Um, Cause I know y'all are about to, y'all were headed to the caves. Yeah. And y'all got to start putting in that work. So <laughs> I wouldn't want him to, to miss out on that. Um, well, yeah, other than that then, we definitely appreciate everybody coming through, swinging by, kicking it with us. As always, uh, like I said, we're going to keep our schedule. Try our best to keep our schedule where it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you know, life be lifing. That's our new slogan. Life, life be, be lifing. Oh, yeah. So, um, but I appreciate everybody coming by. I will still be, I'm going to start my streaming again. So that schedule will start being updated. As of right now, there will be random. Um probably more so overnight for most of them. Like I did this last one. I think I did a seven hour stream. Uh, I'm going to try to get Diablo 4 completed by next week. That's the goal. Wow. It's supposed to be 22 hours. Damn, okay. 65 for 100% completion. Y'all know me and you know how hard it is to stay on task when you get games like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But the thing I like about this one, um, it's not. Did anybody? Did any of you all play Diablo three? No, no, no. Not really. Okay, so in Diablo, normally the storylines are act based. So you go through, you know, you have your side missions within the act, but you go act one, two, three, four, blah, 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 right? And as you get to a certain part in the story, it moves you to the next act. Well, with this one, the acts are simultaneous. So I have active missions in Acts 1, 2, and 3 of the six that there are that I'm already working on just by doing some of the side missions. So okay. it's interesting how they did that. Um, I'm liking it, though. Definitely liking it. Um, and so I'm going to try to get that done by the end of the week, at least the main storyline, and we'll see what happens after that. Uh, Rod said he will be streaming again. He's going to start on Wednesdays. That probably won't be for about a month, I'd say, probably. Yeah, like once I come back from New York, um, Sonic right. Wednesdays will start up. Or maybe it might start this week. It depends on my mood. But I'm Not shooting I'm shooting for a Sonic Wednesdays just to, like I said, we were talking about Sonic and I'm like looking up the Sipping stuff right now. Because it looks, looks like it, the Chicago show might be the, probably the most affordable one, actually. I'm thinking. Quite, yeah, that might be. So. Yeah, and, um, it, and it's Halloween. I think it's Halloween weekend too. When mm -hmm. that date is, that's Halloween weekend. So, like I said, I know we're going to LA Horror Con, but that's at the end of September. I thought it was the end of October. I got my dates mixed up. Gotcha. But nonetheless, like I said, Aquapath. I'm um, working. I might stream myself tonight. I don't know how. Not don't. No, I do not want to go through an hour long boss fight tonight. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not tonight. It's like not before I start Monday tomorrow for work. No. <laughs> no, that's. Maybe Wednesday. Maybe I might do it Wednesday because I'm still, okay. like, as I'm still searching for some other RPGs, I might even start Mega Man Battle Network. It was another one I had on my mind to start. Just like, huh? like Sonic Wednesdays and just run some RPGs. Streets of Rage Mondays seem to be working Ooh. for me. 
Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, he'll be doing his. Um, I'll be starting, like I said, I'll be starting streaming again. Um, vocab will eventually drag him onto TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> we will happen, it will happen. No, no. Um, but yeah, he'll he'll do he does his streams as well. They're kind of random, so um, but keep an eye out for that. If you ever just want to know if any of us are streaming, you can always go to the main Panda Pandemonium Twitch stream. Uh, because if any of them are streaming, it will be on that page. I've got everybody's page to where it'll go feed to me if they're gone and I'm not. So, um, but other than that, yeah, it will. With that, you all have a great rest of your day. Hopefully, you enjoy your week. Hope you have a good week, and we will catch you all next. Are Sunday. you going to stream tonight? Yeah, probably not. Tonight, probably not. So, I got to do. I may. Car. It just I depends. To, <laughs> I got to deal with car repo people. I need to save my aggravation for them. <laughs> <laughs> right for what you got to deal with. Right. Yeah. Now, if I do, it's gonna be random. It'll probably be middle of the night. To be honest, if I can't sleep, I may do it. But that's about that's about it for tonight. I did, like I said, I did that full eight yesterday. Um, you did that. Yeah. Over, and I'm overnight streaming, so I, like when I do octopus, when, when I do the Friday mm-hmm. night one. So those are like, I guess I know my limit is two, two and a half, three. Mm-hmm. I know two is my limit. Yeah, I know my limit. And then work schedule shifted up, so I start at six now in the morning. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so if I do an overnight, it's probably going to run right into me going to work in the morning right. if I decide to do something like that. So that's why I said we may, we may not. We'll see. Because I know if I get into that, I'm going to be stuck in it mm-hmm. for, you know what I mean, playing. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Well, again, appreciate everybody swinging through and y'all have a good one. Catch All right. Later. See you later.